So we are going to start the process of making the silicone casting material. Some mold making. Got my friend Patrick here. This happens to have uh, been a mold designer, a, uh, uh, what do you call that? A um, prop maker. Prop mold, maker. Mold maker, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Got a 10 to 1 ratio here, and he's using a digital scale to uh, get exact. We're going to go with grams. Grams. Well, that's because your last name is. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. That's just easier. No decimals. Wow. So this will be pretty exciting to see what this yields us after everything is said and done. It's been a long time coming. first time we made molds it was rubber material so that was the result but I just made a track cast of this mold and it is going to be used in the making of the silicone so what do we got here 11 grams 1100 1100 grams now this is the activator activator Give it a little shape it's like rocket science we're uh... all right stand back don't remember don't try this at home folks well, I was gonna be the stirrer though so do I need a glove no, it's alright. <laughs> I'll put one glove on. I can stir. You can stir? Alright. I'll put you to work. So we got purple and white, so that's going to make like a nice pink color, right? It'll be a light purple. Cool. Alright, so 110 grams. I said with the track casting, you know, I'd rather have more than not enough. You know? Okay, let's see, it's blinking uh, 110, 111. So Beautiful. I'll put the cap on. All right. Now we're probably going to make two batches. Okay. All right, so we've stirred this up now, and it's blended together. And you want to move that over here a little bit so you can let the camera pick up on it. Perfect. So we're going to spread a very fine layer, very evenly over the track cast. You want a really thin stream. You want to get all the air out of the silicone. So that's why it's. About two feet above the mold and really stringy. Nice. Looking good. I don't know if you can see where you are, but you can see the air bubbles popping as they go over the, the lift. I was going to say, after you get it all covered and everything, you can actually lift it and drop it a couple of times to get any yep. air bubbles that are in there out. I'm going to do that with my track cast that I make in the molds. Hopefully, you're getting a, a clear view of this procedure. Nice, steady, thin stream. That's the important part. And we're not giving away any trade secrets here, but Pat's had a lot of experience with doing this. So 
very fortunate that he was able to assist me in this process. You may recall from a few of our episodes, one with Jeff Meldrum. Dr. Meldrum was uh, a little surprised when I, I told him I had made a cast of his Walla Walla Washington track impression <laughs> that I got from him. I said, hey, I broke it when we were making the original molds. So he's okay with me uh, using it on my expeditions to make, you know, a prize for an attendee, but he doesn't want me banging out 50 copies to sell alongside of him at the next uh, Bigfoot convention, you know? <laughs> Which I can understand, of course. Wow, this is, this is really coming out good. This takes how long for it to cure? 18? 20, 18 hours. Yeah, about 18 hours. and 12, so 12 to 18. You can pull it after about 12, but I'd usually let them sit for about 24 just to be sure. Yeah, same with, uh, same with what I do out in the field with track impression molds. I like to let it sit for at least uh, 18 to 24 hours, if possible. That was 1100 grams. So we'll add just a couple hundred more. Looks good though. I didn't see any air bubbles or anything coming out. Mm -hmm. And you might see a couple come to the surface. Well. So like five minutes. I think we are ready to pour a little extra base layer on just to make sure it's thick enough. So we mixed up a little bit more batter. And now we're going to add that to the original. So this is just a, a little extra insurance that it's thick enough. So remember, a nice thin stream. Keep the air bubbles out. About two and a half feet over the, the um, cast. plug there I remembered the plug <laughs> or model some people refer to it as a model as the model yes so yeah after this I'll be ready to go into the, uh, the mold making business I can give up my career in health food <laughs> Looking good. I like the color of it too. The next one we're going to do is the Pine Barrens cast. Take. All right, we are about to do the number two Pine Barrens cast. It's in the uh, cast mold. It's got the wax around. There's actually a little piece of purple on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come up the stick. That's fine. So this one is setting. And uh, looking quite nice, I might add. So we're going to make the next mold of the original Pine Barrens in 2015.
gooey gooey. So with these materials, with the silicone, do you still need a, a release agent when you pour casting material into it? No, not at all. Very good. Because I plan on bringing these on expeditions. This way, if we don't find any actual track cast, or track impressions, I should say, we can use my molds to uh, do a track casting demonstration. I think we mixed up enough batter this time that we won't have to uh, add to it. Look at that. So we did spray it with a release agent though. So this time it's not going to get stuck in the, in the box. And after it cures, after about 18 to 24 hours, I'll disassemble the boxes cast will pop right out this time. Oh yeah. So this is the uh, stuff you're used to making molds with, right? Oh yeah. Silicone. Yeah, you should easily get, easily have a 10 to 15 year shelf life. Nice. You should be able to get anywhere from 100 to at least 200 pieces out of this mold. Cool. toe poking out still. That should do it. Nice. This is a similar size and length and width to the first one we made. Both left feet impressions. Interesting thing is though, when you see a cast that you make, like this one, right? It almost looks like a right foot, but this is the way it was in the ground. Keep that in mind, you know, so. But if you think here, this is the one we made that uh, got destroyed into 50 million pieces, and uh, it's pretty, looking pretty good, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Definitely. It's restored. Once again. Dr. Meldrum was uh, impressed with how good I made his cast after it was in uh, 10 pieces. And all I used was some Elmer's glue on his suggestion. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now for any air bubbles, you can just take a little uh, pointy thing the bubbles. Looking good. Wow. I think we mixed up the perfect amount.
got my pokey pin. No, no, we're not the cure coming up. This table's seen a lot worse than silicone. It's been to a number of expeditions. Go to the last drop. Just the right height. That's about it. That's how we're gonna get it. That's good. Okay. Good job, man. It's very satisfying. It's like popping kind bubble of, wrap. Kind of <laughs> yeah. See how those kind of pop on their own, typically. Yeah. Every once in a while, you get one that won't pop. Well, like I said, I I do this with the track cast. So, yeah. You know what I mean? I go like yeah. that. Yeah. It helps. And I do this side. Any bubbles that are in there, I'll bring them to the surface. And then, if you need to, you can just do a little poke. With my bamboo skewer. If you look at this one, I don't see any bubbles on there. No, that's looking really good. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty close, you know? Yes, sir. I'm gonna so, make hey. like a fetus and head out. All right, brother. Thanks for thanks for squatching. And uh, all your help. So remember, if you're watching, give us a like and a share follow hey wherever you're at we appreciate it so talk to you soon